The first thing I like to do is prep my space and set the mood so that I can fully relax and enjoy my self-care session. Now, I am not a doctor or healthcare professional, and even though this video is more of a how I yoni steam rather than a how to yoni steam video, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the following. You should skip yoni steaming if you are on your period, if you're pregnant or think you may be pregnant, or if you have recently given birth. If you are experiencing any infections, such as a yeast infection, BV, or an STI, or if you're experiencing an outbreak from HSV2 or HPV, please refrain from yoni steaming until you are fully healed. If you have had any recent surgeries or medical procedures performed in or around the vagina or pelvic region, or you are scheduled to have a procedure done, please refrain from steaming. Also, if you do not desire children presently, be mindful that the deep penetrating heat of yoni steaming helps the muscles to relax and increases the circulation in the pelvic floor, which may boost fertility. This video is not intended to suggest a cure or replace medical treatment for any reproductive issues, diseases, or illnesses. Please consult your professional healthcare provider with any health concerns you may have. Next, I like to begin prepping the items I'll need for my Yoni steam session. As you can see, I have my Yoni steam seat and there's some things stored inside it, like fresh towels and this little pot that I use for my hot water. I actually got the idea to use this little pot as an insert from one of my beautiful supporters who had tagged me on IG at the time on my old account, so shout out to her. And this is just a stainless steel four quart veggie steamer. I just remove the lid and the mesh basket and pour the hot water into the pot. So I usually have a couple of fresh towels, a notebook for journaling, and a hot cup of tea is a must because we're heating things up from the outside and the inside. The tea that I drink is my own blend and I've been drinking it for years. It's a mixture of different herbs that are great for the female body, but the main ingredient is raspberry leaf, which is excellent for reproductive and overall health. Raspberry leaf helps to gently strengthen the uterus, and it's very nourishing, containing vitamins A, B, C, and E, as well as calcium, magnesium, and potassium. So this has been and will continue to be a staple for me. Next, we have our herbs for yoni steaming. I always have a large jar of herbs ready for this and I usually prepare a little satchel that I keep stored in the jar for freshness. When I started yoni steaming back in 2016-2017, I just thought it made more sense to place the herbs in a little bag for easy cleanup afterwards. Now, my jar contains quite a few different herbs. However, a couple of herbs that I love to use for yoni steaming are lavender and rosemary. Lavender is antiseptic and the aroma has a wonderfully relaxing effect on the body and mind. Rosemary is antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal, and the aroma is set to enhance concentration. And I also like to keep a piece of rose quartz nestled in my herbs for good vibes. Mm -hmm. 
Now, just because something is natural doesn't mean it's for everyone. So please do your own research and find out what herbs are best for you. Last but not least, I like to keep a little blanket nearby for extra warmth. Before steaming, I like to take a quick shower because we don't want to be a dirty gal and sit on our seat unclean. After adding my hot water and herbs, I wait a few minutes and then check the temperature of the water against my wrist, the same way you would check a baby's bottle. If it pinches, if it stings, or if it burns, it's too hot. There should be no discomfort, just like a deep, soothing heat. Once the temperature is right, I grab my towel and I wrap it around my seat. This just makes things more comfortable, especially since I will most likely be sitting here for about 20 to 30 minutes. I typically tend to yoni steam right after my period, just as kind of like a refresher, but um, I've also just done it on a normal day just because I felt like it. Yoni steaming clears the pores through sweating, helping to purify the skin. The heat helps to relax tension in the pelvic floor and it increases the circulation, thereby promoting the flow of oxygen and nutrients to the reproductive organs via the blood. So from here, I just like to settle in and relax. Sometimes I use one of those meditation timers on YouTube um, just to keep track of the time and to have like soothing music playing in the background or soothing sounds in the background while I steam. I like to work out the kinks in my neck and in my shoulders just to help my body settle in a little more. I also like to listen to my Sacred Yoni Affirmations video while I steam. Um, however, I am actually thinking about making a completely separate meditation video specifically for Yoni steaming on my channel. So I don't know, but um, if you're interested in the Sacred Yoni Affirmations, you can find them on the Affirmations playlist on my channel. Journaling during yoni steaming can be very beneficial, especially if there's like some emotions that I need to work through at the time. But I typically tend to get epiphanies, creative ideas, and solutions to issues during self-care sessions, so I like to keep a journal nearby for that.
My go-to in the colder seasons is usually some soft fuzzy slippers to keep my feet warm while I steam, but sometimes I like to bump it up a notch. A foot massage while yoni steaming is just chef's kiss. Like I can literally feel the tension and the stress just melt out of me when I do this. Well, you know, as above, so below, I guess. <laughs> I've also done a face mask while steaming. just something about having your feet submerged in warm water and then the heat from the yoni steam child i'd be fighting for my life trying to stay awake on this pot So sometimes after yoni steaming, I like to do a little clay detox, and I think we've all seen and heard of this particular brand of clay before. So I like to apply it to my bikini line and to my underarms. Since I just got done sweating and my pores are nice and open now, I like to do a little clay mask in these areas just to help further pull any impurities that may be under the skin. I like to add a couple drops of lavender or tea tree essential oils to the mix just to give it a little purifying boost. I just make sure that the mixture is a smooth and spreadable consistency for easy application. After steaming, I hop in the shower, exfoliate, shave, and use a good pH balance yoni wash. I also like to go in with a good moisturizing body scrub. So this is a yoni and breast oil that I made and it's just a simple rose oil blend and I added rosebuds and quartz crystal at the bottom you can see, <laughs> good vibes. And I like to massage a couple drops of this into my bikini area after showering, especially since I've done the clay mask. I always skip the underwear and slip into something that is soft and breathable after yoni steaming. Gotta let her breathe, gotta let her breathe. Once I've washed and cleaned all of my Yoni Steam items, I just pack everything back inside. I make sure to add a fresh set of clean towels, and then I just put everything away. I also prepare a fresh bag of herbs for my next session. So now that our Yoni Steam session is complete, I like to settle down, relax, have some fresh fruit, and maybe some lemon or cucumber water. And I also refrain from intimacy after Yoni Steaming. That is just my personal choice.
To show you how I made my Yoni steam seat, we have to take a trip to the hardware store. So let's go. I used this five gallon work bucket, which costs around $5. It's deep enough to keep the hot water at a safe distance from my skin. It's lightweight, durable, easy to clean, and easy to store away. As you can see, I used two buckets to give me a little lift. I use one as the insert and the other as the decorative covering. I had actually made this Yoni Steam seat back in 2017 and shared it on YouTube on my old account. <laughs> I hand painted the outside of the bucket using some paint that I already had at home and a four inch foam roller. The designs were applied with the stencil that I previously had from a home project. And the decorations are jewels that I purchased on Etsy and I just applied them with crazy glue. These were ribbons that I had in my craft supplies at home and they just happened to fit perfectly in these grooves. The lid seat combo I purchased on Amazon. It's specifically made for a five gallon bucket and is typically used for camping. It works very well, but as you can see, mine came with some minor imperfections. Nothing that would hinder the steaming process though. Another alternative to decorating the bucket is to use some pretty contact paper. Some of the downsides of using my bucket method is that I can't sit back and relax, but that might be a good thing because I don't want to end up falling asleep during yoni steaming. And it may not be as comfortable for someone on the larger or taller side. All in all, my yoni throne has lasted me about seven years and I haven't had any issues with it or with the results of my yoni steaming. My name is Michelle. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.